Hey folks, welcome back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, Harry and his friends are opening uh, their own investigation on the attack on Mrs. Norris and the whole ordeal behind the Chamber of Secrets, the whole mystery of it all. And they're suspecting Malfoy to be the out of Slytherin, which is why they have concocted a brilliant plan of, of transforming Harry into a Slytherin student, temporarily, which is fortunate for Harry. And... And sneak into the Slytherin common room to just ask Malfoy about it. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? So now we are going to be collecting some ingredients to make this complicated Polyjuice Um Potion. And and apparently Snape is just chilling over there. I mean, we haven't really thoroughly explored the potions classroom. Hi, would you consider a trade? I'm not really Where interested in trading tra anything. I'm in the potions classroom. Maybe <clears throat> keep an eye out for Snape. Yes, Snape can't do shit to us. Oh yeah, we are re we are redecorating the Snape's classroom. He's gonna love this. Do I have any ingredient to make a potion? Nope. Oh, there he is. Hey, did you notice the big hole on the wall? Don't be poking around where you don't belong. Yeah, okay. The guy's no fun. <laughs> Laverne de Montmorency, inventor of many love potions. Of course the inventor of lab potions is gonna be a French woman. Just, of course it is. Now, where should I go next? Do I have a... Objective, I need to go through a dungeon corridor blocked with ectoplasm to find some powder to buy corn horn. Where, where would that be? Well, it's not... Is that it? <clears throat> what did I even do? Okay. Yeah, I, I can't handle that thing right now. Oh, look at that. This is uh, Jess Part Shingleton, still alive, celebrated inventor of the self steering cauldron. This. Well, a lot of these celebrities we got on the chocolate fraud cards are actually this door is locked. still alive, which is nice. Scott! I guess this is it. <clears throat> okay, ingredient collecting time. How difficult could it possibly be? Okay, we're gonna step on some spiders apparently because it's important to do so. It builds characters. There's a lot of green river in this place. Very unpleasant. Oh, look at that. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. This time. Oh, that's what it's for. <clears throat> well, that just makes it a little bit safer. It actually doesn't do all that much where was the oh but it gave me some shit oh, sh god damn it I, I don't need more health 
Now I do. Somebody really likes apple cider. Actually, that's it's more like lime cider, I guess. Well, that's a complicated door. We have a Crispin Croc sent to Azkaban for continuing to keep Sphinxes in his back garden despite repeated warnings. And that's a worthy cause to get sent to Azkaban for. But what if he and his Sphinx just loved each other? Like, that's possible. You don't know if he was. if the Sphinx really liked being there or not. I mean, they'll never give you a straight answer. Oh yeah, you don't fool me. Get over there. I don't know what it did. Oh, that's what it did. <laughs> so I could reach that. I'm not commenting a lot because I have a sore throat and <clears throat> I, I cough a lot these days and it's just not the best time for me to just give a, give a TED talk. Besides, the game is kind of self-explanatory. There's not a whole lot to say about its gameplay. And we have no Honoria Natcom, uh, founded a society of the reformation of hags, whatever that is, reformation of hags, jeez, is there gonna be a pop quiz later? Oh shit! Get away! Get away from me! Don't let don't let me see your fucking portal guy's face. Um wow, there's a there's a whole maze down there. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes right now. It doesn't go anywhere. Let's try to switch things up a little bit. This opens up the door to, well, nothing really. I guess in this way you can technically get out of here. I can also visit the red door. Let's get down. Let's see what happens. Let's 
You're coming with me, buddy. I don't want to leave this room yet. There's more to do here. I know it. I remember this actually. Um, we'll be able to explore a little bit more before we leave. Whoa! See, in this way, you get to visit the, the room on the left. Let's try to open the one on the left, too. On the right. Mm hmm. This is not gonna work. I guess it also works. Oh, I guess in this way you can visit both rooms on the left and the right. Let's go see. I kinda like this puzzle, you know. Hey, hey, hey! Gotta give me some good stuff. Just beans. Oh, and the ingredients. These ingredients make potions that, you know, basic potions that uh, enhance your health. But my health is almost always perfect so far, so haven't really got a need to use the potions yet. Besides, I don't know how. Okay, we got all we can from this spot. Let's just focus on getting out. That's not gonna do. Oh yeah, that gives me a clear path. <sighs> Forward and downward, Harry. Just... Oh. I think this is like... This must be Snape's hidden cupboard that we've been looking for. Guess we can always do this. Hey Snape, I'm taking all your beans. I hope you don't mind. This level is gonna try my patience. 
I'm gonna make some stupid mistake because I hate waiting for this. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Harry's is scratching his head like what's taking so long? Why would Snape have a place like this in his office? I mean, it's not really his office, it's opposite his office. But you know this is his... It's his territory. Look like this cat. Uh, Groupin Stump, popular minister of ma for magic appointed in 1811. There's actually a popular minister for magic? Whoa! Whatever happened to you? Sh shouldn't I be allowed to throw him in there? Like, what, what is he even doing? Yay! I think the gnome is glitched. He's he's not even getting up. I like that the Harry's spell has a, 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 the range for Harry's spell seems to be getting longer the more I advance. Hey. <clears throat> oh. Do you think that gnome will die if I throw him to the green jelly? Nope, he's fine. It only hurts Harry, of course it does. What if I throw him down a bottomless pit? Nope, Harry's gonna exterminate your ass. Oh, the area is still accessible even after the Luma spell has lost effect, that's cool. So yeah, nobody's gonna walk this. Ah! Yet. What was, is Snape like expecting uh, intruders or something? Just die already, stupid turtle. Ah! Shit! <laughs> the platforming is my ultimate enemy in this game. Not gonna make the same mistake twice. Just control the jumping. I think that's my prize. And so it is. So I just came out of the Poitons classroom. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> I, haven't, I haven't had a, any need to drink these potions yet. Uh, there is Snape just glaring out of the window. Like, is, is he gonna raise any questions seeing Harry barge out of his personal stash room? If I ever catch you snooping about, Potter, I'll deduct all of your house points. That's a, this is why the house point, uh, the house point thing is completely stupid. Oh, we haven't done this yet, have we? Have we? Because this seems vaguely familiar. Oh, I think we actually. I'm in the potions classroom. Better keep an eye out for snakes. Apparently, the game does not. Yeah, been here. But the game does not know the difference between. Entering and exiting a place. Hi, Harry. 
Hi. 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 I found some bicorn horn to add to the potion. Great. I'm still trying to find the location of the next ingredient, but I should have it tracked down soon. In the meantime, I'll go add this to the potion. You'll do that. They're starting a dueling club and the first meeting is today. That could be interesting. Come to the Great Hall if you want to learn how to duel. Okay, um, who are you? Fine. The Great Hall. Of course I want to know how to duel. Whoa, look at that. Completely inaccess inaccessible. I can't talk. <clears throat> Here's the gr Can everyone see me? Can you all hear me? Oh, Snape, you came Excellent. along too. I started Dueling Club to train you to defend yourselves. Dueling Club meets every day in the antechamber just outside the Great Hall. In Wizard Dueling, the object of the exercise is to incapacitate your opponent. Oh, we're going to kill Malfoy. There are three spells you may use in Dueling. Rictus Sempra, which knocks your opponent back and reduces stamina. Mimble Wimble which prevents your opponent from accurately casting their next spell. Expelliarmus, which reflects spells back on That's not opponent. what Expelliarmus does, but okay. Spell. Scroll through them by using the space bar or press the right whiny. mouse button. To cast a selected spell on your opponent, press the there left mouse button. You may build up the strength of Richter Semper and Mimble Wimble by holding the left Oh come on! This is just a tedious tutorial for a mini game. Jumping during duels are prohibited. A pledge of Bertie Bot's every flavored beans is required to duel. The victor. <laughs> so this is your entry fee. Beans. Yeah. The school is officially duel, endorsing gambling because the beans are their official currency. Beans, you will be invited to duel. My assistant, Professor Snape. I am your colleague. Not your assistant. Has informed me that he knows a tiny bit about dueling and has graciously agreed to monitor the oh, duel. Snape wants to murder now you. For a brief demonstration, Mr. Potter, if you'd like to partner up with Mr. Weasley. I don't think so. Time to split up the dream team, I think. I really like the voice actor of Mr. Snape. Mr. Malfoy, come over here. Let's see what you can make of the famous Potter. Thrashing you will be a treat, Potter. And a spanking you will be even more so. Well then, one's at the ready. When I count to three. Scared, Potter. You wish. One, two, three. Today, Potter. So I'm gonna build up this one. The pleasure of dueling the great Slytherin house. Winter Emperor. Slytherin takes okay. an undeserved hit. It's deserved. I guess I bet. Uh, how do I spell? Okay, I'm gonna just do this. We're gonna play a bit of ping pong. Ow! My Slytherin. Damn it! This is gonna go Get on you. for a while. Strike him back. Snuck that one in. Oh yeah. Potter. Oh yeah. Malfoy, you're gonna get it. No one doesn't really do much. Harry Potter, there it goes. You slither. I'll disappoint you. Oh, disappointing is right, Snape. Wow. Serpent Sortia. Leave me alone. What was that? Did Harry just his? I think I saw a girl whose head was jerking all around in the background. Been. It couldn't be. Not him.
The real question is who stares down a snake and just yells, leave me alone? You're a parcel mouth, Harry. You can talk to snakes. Why does it matter? It matters, Harry, because being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. Oh no! Exactly! Now the whole school's going to think you're his great 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 grandson or something. But I'm not. Anyway, we'll see you later, Harry. Bye, Harry. Harry lay awake for hours that night, wondering. Could he be a descendant of Salazar Slytherin? I won't be seeing you in Herbology class. I'll be in Moaning Mercer's bathroom working on the Polyjuice Potion. I can't believe Hermione is skipping class. <laughs> well, we better get outside to Herbology, Harry. Come on. So the next class is outside. Cool. Moaning Myrtle's bathroom always did give me the creep. I think there is something in here that we can probably have access to now. Um, where is it? Maybe, maybe I was mistaken. Oh, there it is. If I remember this correctly, there he goes. Oh, wait a second. What is this? Um, what was that? I think I just got 10 silver cards that they rewarded me with a, with, a, with a key. The key to unlock the first floor stuff. Let's not worry about that for the moment. This is Daisy Doddridge. Uh, she was the first landlady of the Leaky Cauldron. Wow, the Leaky Cauldron is old. Somebody running down the ground. Would you be interested in trading? Nope. I'm not interested in trading. Hey, Ron. I know the last time you saw me, I was on the other side, but now I'm here. Isn't that amazing? It's almost like it's magic. So, if you would care to join me on this way for a minute. Um, this is where you, uh, the, the dueling club is. This is, a, this is becoming a mini game. Just like Quidditch. If I go to the Quidditch pitch, now I can play Quidditch games. And I think maybe there are six of these games, and I can also talk to him to start dueling with him and after I beat him there's gonna be another person standing right beside him gradually filling up this whole room until I reach the until I become the final boss of the dueling club but we're not gonna do that nor are we gonna play six Quidditch games these are just mini games they were fun to play but very relevant to the plot so for this playthrough we're just gonna stick to the core of it Sometimes these secrets they regenerate, that's why I keep trying, but most of the time they don't. This is a new area, I'm gonna look around. Hey, look at that. I know... I know the entire class is already there. I know, like, Professor Sprout is probably waiting for me. Gulliver Pokebay, expert on magical birds, first to identify meaning of augury song. Oh, Welcome to second year herbology, everyone. And for those of you who have forgotten, I am Professor Sprout. Let's dig right in, shall we? Today, I'll teach you Divindo, the severing charm. Harry Potter, would you like to plant your feet in front of class and be the first to learn the spell? I'd be glad to, Professor Sprout. Taking a leaf from Hermione's book, aren't you? Aha! I see what you did there, Ron. It's because we're learning plants. Now, Mr. Potter, please fix your gaze on the symbol in front of you. See the pointer? It's about to move its way around the shape. When okay. the pointer passes directly over the arrow, press the corresponding arrow key. This exercise is in three parts. I know how it goes. In each part, you must be accurate in order to progress. Ready to try? Round one. 
Go. Apparently, this is how Hogwarts teachers teach their students about magical spells. In many ways, Snape is like the most competent teacher they got here, because well at least Harry. he doesn't play with you arrows. You moved on to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. Go. Well done, Harry. <clears throat> you moved on to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three. Go. I guess the biggest difference is in the game is the Guild of Lockhart is actually really competent. Well done. You've His dueling club is even legit. Like, it's not just a sham like in the book and the movie. We've absolutely learned stuff here. You have learned Divindo, Harry. We've planted a seed of greatness here today. Oh my god, stop. To stop making plant, plant puns. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Defindo challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found in a hallway just above you. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Oh no, I do not want to lose the challenge. challenge stars. Connecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Some vines and plant growth can cover doorways and openings. You can use Defindo to cut through them and clear your paths. <clears throat> so we have learned another trick. Defindo! Yeah. I distinctly remember Defindo being one of the spells taught in the Philosopher's Stone PC game. So it's weird that Harry has to learn it again. Assuming there's gonna be another one just like that. Okay, let's go. Whoa! Ha! How do you get up there? He was fast. He was actually really fast at the end. Will release objects. Cool. I kind of want to explore this this <coughs> courtyard a little further. Yeah, I knew there's gonna be something about these things. Holy shit! It's very satisfying the way it spits out the beans directly into Harry. I can't explain it. I find that very soothing. We got Leopoldina Smethwick. She was the first British witch to referee a Quidditch match. <clears throat> well, I would say that's progressive, but... Considering that Quidditch has never been, has never split between male and female versions, that's actually kind of behind. Oh 
all these the mushrooms can give off a cloud of poisonous gas, Harry. Avoid them or use the window to cut their stems. Pork lump mushroom. I never knew their name. Oh, I remember this. This is really fun because gnomes actually eat these mushrooms. Just watch. <sighs> Sometimes I just wish they would do better. I am very disappointed in you, Mr. Gnome. Well, I th I'm sure we will find some other way to demonstrate that. Oh, there he goes. There he is. Look at him. He's so he's having so much fun. That's my beam, by the way. I'm gonna take that back. <coughs> go on. Go go eat. Go eat the other two. If the other two beans stop. My beans. You have fulfilled your mission slightly disappointingly, but I forgive you. What am I doing? That's not gonna work. Oh. There it is. I'm hearing a pixie. Oh, there it is. Oh, I get another life bar. Great. I'm gonna keep the snail away from me because, yeah, it, it can awaken any time. How do I open this one? That's how! Sweet beans. Any more? Okay. Spiky, prickly beans. This beast will get too close. Avoid them. Defendo. Use Defendo to cut their stems. Defendo. Um, I want that one. There we go. I'm getting s to cut other things too, Harry. Try it on that spider web. Oh, Try I shall. I'm getting so many beans in this game. Oh, spiders. It's not necessary to kill those spiders, but I just want to. Where's that thing? Oh, shit. Well, I'm gonna have to miss that one. Or not.
<coughs> we got Ulrich the Old Ball Medi uh, Medieval, dates unknown. Highly eccentric wizard who is famed among other things for wearing a jellyfish for a hat. There is nothing wrong with wearing jellyfish for a hat. Don't apologize for that. What does that do? What? Where did I go? Where did the block go? Not sure. Hey you! Oh, well, look at that! That's gonna smash through the floor. I do believe in fairies. Fairies catching the ride. <laughs> this is a trick spot. It has to be. Or maybe not. Oh wait, it is. Let's unleash the gnome. <clears throat> Let them have their fun. Oh, come on, man. Ah, spider! Shit. I don't think the spider hurts Harry, but... At some point, the gnomes just forget all about their jobs. Maybe I should throw them all into the same hole, you know, so they can <clears throat> be each other's company. I can see that. Can I? I don't think I, I'm severing anything. <coughs> Whoa. Something is throwing shit at me. There you are. Bone truckles are tree spirits that guard wigan trees. Cast to hinder on them to make them disappear. Oh, you mean kill them? You just smash them to pieces. That's one way to say, uh, make them disappear. Oh, I get poison ingredient from them. That's very cool. Although they don't really look like the bone trucker from the Fantastic Beast movies. I mean, those are cute. These, not so much. Do each of them give me a a, uh, a tree bark? Like that's that's an embarrassingly uh, uh, bountiful amount of tree barks. Where do I get the other ingredient? Because this is like saying uh, in a beat em up game you take down a goon and each time you do so you get a left shoe. Like it's like it's giving you a lot of a lot of stuff, but you can't really use it.
I've played this. I played through this game a lot of times when I was when I was really young. So right now I'm just kind of going through the motion. I don't necessarily like know what's what's around every corner, but I'm also not surprised by anything. Kill the spiders. we have Eladora, Cat Ridge Witch who discovered the use of jellyweed when she nearly suffocated after eating it and recovered only when she stuck her head into a bucket of water. <laughs> yeah, because jellyweed helps you breathe underwater. This game takes a lot of lore stuff from future Harry- <clears throat> Well, not necessarily future Harry Potter projects, but just the uh, stuff after the Chamber of Secrets. How does nobody know about Jillyweed? If, it, if it's so popular, if it's... If it's on the chocolate card. We have Lord Stodard Withers, breeder of flying horses. Wow, what a hero. Although I do, I, I am in, very interested in the technique behind, behind that. Like, what do you, what do you do with what to get flying horses? I'm assuming one of the ingredients is horses. Oh my god, don't put me next to the thing. Get away from me. I don't trust him. Where did you, you come from? I don't know, but I know where to put you. Go to your rightful place. There we go. I'm gonna have to put a snail here. And I'm gonna have to put two here. Okay. So there's gonna be a lot of snail herding for the for the next uh for the next uh, five minutes. Okay, maybe just one minute. Go on. Don't get cute with me. Oh, I almost forgot the prize. This one is called Thaddeus Thurkel, famous for producing seven squib songs and turning them all into hedgehogs in disgust. <laughs> what? Really? And that's the seven hedgehogs on the picture. What what the hell is wrong with this dude? I guess he just lacks the midichlorians to pass down. He can't produce wizards. <laughs> and they turn them all to hedgehogs. 
Hey, that's horrible, but it's so funny. I need to be careful not to touch the star. Not yet. There we go. Well done, Mr. Potter. You have completed my Defindo challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. It's gonna stay, stay that way. I'm not coming back for another challenge. So I got 108 points for Gryffindor. I missed three stars. I don't know how, but okay. I can accept that. told me that you can find the shredded boom slang skin out in the greenhouse. Follow me, Harry. How oh, great. More ingredient collecting. Right, I think it's this is the right place to call it a day. And I thank you for watching. Next time we're going to collect the other ingredient for the Polyjuice Potion. And then I think it's just it's time to sneak into the Slytherin common room. Well, I'll see you next time.